Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Valencia. We are here at the Lexus stand and I'm gonna show you the first details of the facelifted Lexus ES 2022 model here. So as you can see on this facelift we have the new face. Let's start with the front of course the new grill. It is a well-known grill but a bit of a different shape. Now we have this special part here. You see the sort of like the L shape of uh, those elements of course the Lexus badge with the uh, blue inserts this is a hybrid vehicle and we have a very slim lights and I think really especially when you see it in person it looks very modern and very uh, masculine actually because of the grill itself I mean just look at it from this angle really an attractive design side profile here we have the special 18 inch wheels you can also opt for bigger ones if you want but I think this looks pretty nice and uh, yeah you see the dimension of the tires 235 45 R18 Lexus badge in the middle let me show you the side profile there we go elegant lines look at the C pillar and the incline will have the spoiler at the back and now from this angle you see the slim LED lights that are connected with this chrome part to make the car appear even wider lettering here ES 300H and yeah Lexus lettering as well at the back no fake exhaust clean lines chrome line down there and uh, yeah of course the sensors and the rear view camera now if you want to open the trunk you will see that the button is actually here so you don't touch here so press this and here we are greeted with the huge trunk just look at the area here from one side to another really you will have no problems whatsoever in putting the tanks here and the ski hatch is available as well so yeah no problems whatsoever we do not have the electric tailgate on this one so you do need to do this and tell me in your comments how do you like the design we will now step inside and I will show you more details here so yeah this is the updated interior let's jump on board immediately actually we are greeted with the Lexus lettering and before we actually do that here we have this brushed uh, black part here much better than the gloss one I actually prefer this one here nice leather materials are really superb you have the buttons for the windows and for the mirrors of course electric seats you have the lumble support you can actually see it here in action but now let's jump on board and this is the view from driver's perspective so we have this nice leather steering wheel in front of us the digitalized uh, cockpit but you still have some dials down there and this is new so the 12.3 inch touchscreen it is curved towards the driver five degrees so you have the driver oriented interior and this analog clock gives you this premium feel and yeah I think really this looks pretty nice and I do love the fact that we have the tilted screen and yeah well definitely I think it will be easy to use this system because the AC is still here on the classic buttons so you do have some of the buttons you adjust the air blower on those you can change the tracks uh, so yeah those features here are really easy to control and actually thumb up from me you still have also the volume the power button is here here is where you would start the car by currently we don't have the key so I can't show you that the switch here for the driving modes gear selector is here you also have this pad and some additional room here so the USB aux actually and two USB ports and the cup holder you have also the EV mode this car can be driven purely on electric power as well and I believe you can even put the CD here heated seats heated steering wheel and heated passenger seat and the handbrake is hidden there 
Uh, so uh, yeah, if you want to open this, you do it by pressing the button on the side. And uh, well, yeah, you also have the hidden 12 volt power supply here. So yeah, really practical car. Let's see this. So okay, so if you push this, you also get this additional part. The glove box. Well, it's pretty decent. And once again, the materials, I mean, this is just top quality, soft touch, leather. So yeah, pretty nice. We also have the LED lights here. Let me also show you the sun visor. So it's here. You can also put a card, I believe, something like that. And this slot and now the passengers. And we also have the panoramic roof on this one. So yeah, pretty nice. Uh, let's check it out from the back. So I will go now. Before we step inside, look at this element. So the hybrid lettering and the doors are really massive. Just look at this. Materials are awesome. We have once again the leather and this brushed black part. As expected here, I mean, just look at this. The amount of room is crazy. These are the air vents, 12 volt power supply and two USB C ports. All right, additional storage area. And let's see this. Oh, this is really nice. The cup holders, some additional room. Yeah, you can really be driven in this car. Now let me show you how much space I have for my head. And this really feels nice. I mean, just look at the amount of space here. And also for my head, I still have some room on one meter 87. And I can also lean back a bit more and then I would have even more room here. So yeah, definitely nice limousine. You can just relax and enjoy the drive. And let's do another walk around now with the data running. LEDs turned on, you see an impressive signature, easily recognizable on the road, especially when you combine the lighting signature and this front mask. And let me also show you how it looks at the back. So just a second. So there we go. Another easily recognizable signature. So share your thoughts with me. How do you like the lights here? And yeah, how do you like it overall? I think it's very modern and unique. And I want to mention that this car is actually class leading in terms of range because uh, with low fuel consumption, of course, since it's a hybrid, you have around 960 kilometers of range based on the WLTP cycle. So that's quite impressive and you can use it for long road trips, which is ideal, I think, for this kind of car. So yeah, tell me in the comments how do you like it. Subscribe to the channel as there will be plenty of more videos to come. And that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.